in Florida because that train helped us to get mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Key West to um, to the north. Right. Mm-hmm. You're right. It was like a revolution uh, and like an explosion of of the south. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Further south. Yeah. And then that's why, that's why your uncle um, Van. That's why he moved down here. I think. I think that's why my great grandmother moved down here because. It was work for the railroad. So I think that's where the beginnings come. Is that what you, you think? That's yes. Okay. Yes. But you know, at first though, Uncle Van couldn't find a job. Okay. Wow. Yeah, he he didn't he didn't he didn't come and, and work on the railroad right right away. Uh when they first came, um they they were scratching um for for for, for pennies. Hmm. You know, and the way it does it all and she said it wasn't until that hurricane of nineteen thirty five. You remember that bad hurricane they talk about? 1926. Okay, the one that took out the bridge and the railroad track going to uh, Key West? That could be 1926, yeah. That's before before my princess was born. All right, well, that that was when all those people got killed because for some strange reason, um, they had people on a train in the middle of a a fierce Category 5 hurricane. You know, that hurricane was terrible back in that day because the thing had a tidal wave that swept that train off the tracks mm-hmm. and all those people died. And so it was at that point that they needed men to come bury the dead. Mm-hmm. And so that's how Uncle Ben got a job going down south burying all those dead people. Mm. Yeah. Wow. That's that's when he really, you know, now after that, I'm not sure how the story goes after that, but I know that I remember Augusta telling that story that that's how he made money for a while. Wow. Now, how he, get, how he got to the railroad, I'm not sure, except maybe somebody, because he was a very friendly man, and probably some of the people that he knew, because they later formed what they called the Fireman's Wives mm-hmm. that Augusta was a part of. Mm-hmm. So maybe uh, one of his friends, his brother, somebody, they said there's a job on the railroad for you. Mm-hmm. Cause when, cause I know, cause when I came to live with them, Uncle Van was already working on the railroad. Mm-hmm. So evidently, after he worked uh, burying all those dead bodies and stuff down south, it must have been some kind of way he got to, into the railroad business. I'm sure it was easy. I'm sure it was because I mean it, that railroad, railroad needed to be rebuilt because you know. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The the whole <laughs> the whole the post. <laughs> The whole area needed to be rebuilt. <laughs> and this hurricane told the devil out of that place. Yeah, everything was made of wood. Like I think that's where Miami yeah. got a lot of its lessons as far as how to build places because most, I mean, Overtown, every place got ruined. It doesn't matter what neighborhood you were in. It all, right. like, because it was made of wood. Everything was made of yes. wood. So that was the issue, you know? Uh, um, I, I, I got to change out of my, my present outfit because I'm getting hot. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so, but you know what? That was a great opportunity for Uncle Ben. Uncle ben. Mm-hmm. You know that? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, because because we rode on the train. Mm-hmm. I mean, people were jealous of us because we were to ride the train everywhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, we were train riding sensations. 